What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another deck review and today we're going to be taking a look at my Murakumo deck. As you can tell, this is from the brand new set AL4 and um, this is the one deck that I'm actually going to be playing from this set. So jumping straight in, we have of course the starter, standard Murakumo starter, uh, when you ride on him, draw a card. And then we go into the main power of the deck, Zanbaku. So uh, I actually play both the Zanbaku and Mandala version of the deck. So I have three copies of Zanbaku and four copies of Mandala, along with three copies of Musashi. Now Musashi is just an all-round great card. Um, his skill is that if you have more rear guards than your opponent, uh, when he attacks on the vanguard or the rear guard, uh, you have to drop two cards from, heart, from hand to guard his attack, and um, he also gains plus 5,000 power. So both attacks are, uh, both effects are attached to the, the condition that he has to have more uh, rear guards than your opponent. So do take note of that. But three copies for a very solid all-round card. Four copies of Mandala Lord on ride. He can counter blast one and soul blast one, and uh, clone two copies of, uh, or rather clone two units on field, one copy of each. So if you only have one uh, Vanguard. You can only clone one copy of this Mandala Lord. If you have one rear guard, you can clone a copy of that. And of course, you're allowed to choose uh, whichever two that you want. His second skill is that Vanguard only once a turn. You can put a card from hand to soul, and then uh, every Mandala Lord on the field gets plus 3,000 power, and we'll get back to that effect later. But the game changing, um, the game changing card, uh, Dueling Dragon Zanbaku. Now his skill is a very interesting skill. His first skill being. Uh, on Vanguard only, you can uh, do this once per turn. Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. Call from your deck a left or right Arrester, and then uh, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. And if you have a left Arrester and a rear guard, uh, right Arrester on the rear guard, and you also have Zambaku as your Vanguard, then for that next turn, your opponent cannot ride a Grade 3 from a Grade 3, which means if they are on Grade 3, they cannot ride uh, another Grade 3, which is really, really useful because it shuts down um, basically half the decks in the meta. With um, OTT, they can't ride their Imperial Daughters, uh, Kagero can't ride their Drag Dragonic Waterfalls, and for every other clan, if they're stuck on any other Vanguard, uh, they can't actually ride um, over that Vanguard. So if, for example, your opponent, your Royal Paladin opponent stuck on Alfred early, then they can't ride over that. And uh, the effect also works uh, even if you don't call out a uh, left or right arrester, meaning if you already have a left and right arrester on the rear guard, you can counter charge one, uh, counter blast one and soul blast one and check for his effects conditions. If you have a left and right arrester on the rear guards and if he, of course, is on the vanguard circle, which he would have to be to use his skill, then your opponent cannot ride a grade three from a grade three. And of course, um, we're going to go on next to the two cards that combo with this particular skill, being Left Arrester, right here, and Right Arrester, if we can get it to focus. So, so um, I'll go over Left Arrester skill first, which is a very generic skill, but more useful than you'd imagine, uh, that if you have another Right, if you have a, I think it's a Right Arrester on field, uh, then you can Soul Blast one uh, card from Soul when he attacks, and he gets plus 5,000 power. So you can only use this skill if you have the Right Arrester on the field, um, but then it's really good because, um, or rather, you can use this skill if you have any Arrester on the field, another Arrester. So, uh, so long as you have either a copy, two copies of him or a copy of him and him, then you can use left Arrester skill. But his presence is more powerful um, than his just skill alone because of right Arrester skill. Now, right Arrester, of course, um, I'm going to explain his skill. First of all, when he's called, you can count blast two. If your Vanguard is Zambaku and you have at least another Arrester on the field, uh, Counter Blast 2, send one card from your hand to Soul, and then for the next turn, your opponent's Vanguard cannot stand. And combo together with um, Zambaku, you're basically shutting down your opponent's Vanguard for an entire turn. They can't ride, they can't stand, they're stuck, and you get basically a free turn if you can survive both of your opponent's rearguard attacks. Now, because um, this, left, uh, this right Arrester skill only works uh, on call, uh, you generally don't want to have him in your hand, and you will probably shuffle him back in the deck. But with left arrested skill, you want to have him in hand, so you can call him and then use Zamaku skill, counter blast, soul blast one, to call a right arrester and use right arrested skill, counter blast, and put one card from hand to soul, and then lock down your opponent. And that's why I run four copies of the left to increase the chances of getting him, and three copies of the right. And of course, um, the skill is just really good for calling units out from the deck in general. And of course, we move on to the rest of the grade twos, one which supports the mandala build, which is this one right here. This is actually the imitation mandala. So his skill is that he actually has the same name on the rear guard circle. If we can get it to focus. Rear guard circle, he has the same name uh, as Mandala Lord, as well as on the Vanguard on the uh, in the deck, he also has the same name, which means you can clone a Mandala Lord and pull a copy of him out instead, which is very, very useful indeed. 
And his second skill is that if you have three or more Mandala Lord on the field, you can also boost. Uh, his unit gains boost, making him a 9k booster so long as you have a grade, uh, a couple of, uh, three copies of Mandala Lord on field. And we have two copies of Swift Archer Fushimi. I would like to put more in. Four is actually really good, um, but unfortunately right now I only have these two and don't have space to put the rest in. Um, his Vanguard and Rearguard skill is that continuous so long as you have four more Rearguards, and that's for Rearguards, not for units. Uh, he gains plus 5,000 power, and his second skill is Vanguard or Rearguard on place. He can also choose another unit or himself, basically choose one of the units oops, uh, on board, and then he gets uh, the skill to attack the back row for that turn. Next up, we have the grade ones in the deck, and um, I'm going to start off with the three copies of um, Stealth Dragon Turbulent Edge. Now, his skill is also uh, supporting the actual Mandala Lord build of this deck, which is that he can counter blast one and soul blast one on rearguard as many times as you want in a turn, because it's an act skill. Um, this and every other copy of Turbulent Edge becomes uh, changes his name to Mandala Lord. So um, he counts as another Mandala Lord on the field. And uh, every Mandala Lord on the Vanguard and Rearguard for that turn gets plus 3000 power. And this unit, of course, is able to stack the ability. Um, so if you have 5 Counter Blast, you can do it 5 times if you want. 5 Counter Blast, 5 Soul Blast, and every Mandala Lord on the field will gain um, 15,000 power. So three copies of him, of course, if you run full Mandala builds, you want four copies of him. But because I think Zambaku is really important, and I also want to make space for this other card, I only play three copies. Maybe it's not such a good idea. Maybe you want to play only three copies of this card and four copies of Turbulent Edge. I may test it out myself. But I really like this card because of its wonderful, wonderful skill. And this card is called Amatsu Snipe, Stealth Dragon Amatsu Snipe, who, if um, during that turn you superior call a unit from your deck, then this unit gets plus 5,000 power, which makes him a 12k attacker. And I say attacker because you're not actually going to want to use him as a booster, even though you can, because um, he's actually really good on the Excel circles. Hitting 22k on an Excel circle, and it's really annoying to get rid of because he's just a, two, uh, a 7k, and your opponent has to waste an attack on him. But it's really useful because uh, this small little unit can be used uh, in the front row, in the back row, and on its own in an Excel row. If you called something from deck, is a 22k attack against other Excel clans and other Protect clans. Very useful indeed. And last of all, I'll play four copies of Stealth Beast Million Rat, who has a skill on the rear guard. If you don't have another copy of Million Rat on the rear guard, you can counter blast one and call a unit, uh, a copy of Million Rat from the deck to the rear guard, and that copy gets minus 4,000 power. So these two combine really early, um, really well in the early and mid game, on um, turn 1 or turn 2 when you're on a grade 1 or grade 2 vanguard. Uh, you can use this skill to get pretty uh, high attacks because um, a muscle snipe will go up to 12k and then if you put the lower 4k um, boost behind it, it still reaches 16k, very high numbers indeed. Now I actually wanted to test um, with four copies of of Turbulent Edge and 3 Amatsu Snipe, but for now I think that 3 4 Amatsu Snipe is actually really important because it's a really good attacker, whereas um, with the Turbulent Edge it's not so good if you're on Zanbaku. Um, and here we go, we also play um, 4 copies of the Draw Trigger Perfect Guards, of course, 4 copies of the Stealth Dragon Critical Trigger, 4 copies of Fox Tamer Izuma Front Trigger, and 4 copies Yuki Hime, I think that's her name, yep, the Heal Trigger. And so it's a Rainbow Heal Trigger, a Rainbow Trigger set, and I do think that for this particular deck, um, it, Rainbow Heal Triggers, or Rainbow Triggers, I should say, uh, fit the best. Because of the nature of the deck, you're going to want sometimes to be able to push um, with crits, you want to be able to fill your front row. Um, if you have a Mandala Lord play, you want your whole front row to get uh, that front trigger, and of course you need heals to last a longer game, which uh, you want if you want to stall out your opponent, and of course you need draw perfect guards to shut down that first time that your opponent uses waterfall, um, provided you haven't ridden the Zambaku and locked them down. Uh, of course, one great way to uh, prevent this deck from working is to starve it for counter blast because there are no counter charges in this deck, but um, you can only go so far preventing your opponent from getting damage if they're playing this deck, and I think that, um, well, I mean, I know it's a really uh, topping deck, uh, it's really been topping a lot of tournaments all over Singapore and a lot of tournaments in Japan. Um, so yeah, this is the deck. There's no real combo play uh, because Mandala Lord just spam calls lots of units uh, from the deck and really allows you to keep your hand size as well. So let's say you have um, five cards in hand when you ride Mandala Lord, it goes down to four, but you get to call two units. So suddenly your, your field goes from two to four units, but you still have four cards in hand. And then of course, if you play Million Red, then it's just for one more counter blast, you get another full, uh, or rather six cards on the field. Uh, without even you know dropping more than one card. So overall, this is just a insanely, insanely powerful deck. Um, 
I think that uh, Zambaku is just uh, stronger than people imagined it, even though it's um, it was looked down at first uh, uh, for having too high a counter blast cost. The actual prevention of the ride actually does a lot more than people thought it would. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, hopefully I'll be able to do some fights uh, pretty soon, but um, uh, we'll just have to wait and see because I'm actually really busy with lots of stuff. But I got this uh, playset actually from Vanguard Cardiction. He's a brand new channel that start started not too long ago, maybe about half a month ago when this set came out, and I highly recommend you guys check him out because he uh, actually has lots of fights, and they're very clean fights, and they're really easy to follow. Uh, so I highly recommend you guys check him out. You can see his channel link in the description below. Uh, but as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, have fun, and remember, it's okay to play casual.